How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're going to be taking on Roaring Rex level 30 and 40 today. I actually did modify the deck from yesterday and I found an even better and more consistent way to run it. Uh, I did I did notice that yesterday I did I did post the deck. I, I had run it a few times and I got I just got really lucky apparently but there are times with my previous deck that Rex can deck out before you draw all your cards. Uh, and that was happening quite a bit, so I felt like I really need, needed to update my deck because uh, it wasn't it wasn't 100%, and I did not like it. Uh, this deck, on the other hand, this is more or less kind of like the perfect deck to farm him, to be honest. Uh, you get a, a score of like 9,400, 9,500 around there, and it can be used on level 30 and 40. I do have footage of me farming level 30 as well, which I will be playing in a bit. And you can also modify this deck, pretty much switch out the Vassal and the Union attacks for a Piranha and a Gift of the Martyr. And the last one you can put in a Jar of Greed or something. Uh, but it, it should work exactly the same. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started so I can show you guys the deck and how to play it properly. Because uh, I feel like I didn't do it well last time. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. And here he is. Roaring Rex level 40 and we have already taken on level 30. I have footage of that as well uh, So let's go ahead and just take him on All right, and it is time Roaring Rex level 40 is here uh, So we're going first this time, so we're gonna have a little bit of a slower start uh, but That's just because we don't get that extra draw uh, But all the deck really needs it's just basically draw as much as you can I always go for the auto duel just so we can pass turn and I don't have to watch the animation. Uh, so he's going to go for the fossil dig stuff. He's just going to add cards to hand. Uh, he just does this and this was the main issue with my previous deck. He does do a lot of searching. He, he can fossil dig and uh, fossil dig into that other destroyosaurus or whatever. Or destroyerosaurus. Uh, and then he can pitch that one for the field spell sometimes. So he, he does quite a bit of searching. So for now, I'm going to show you guys how this deck works. Since he, he will be able to search a lot, but we end up drawing a lot with this deck because of the addition of the Gravekeeper engine and, uh, and the Wonder One engine. So, or basically the Gravekeeper Wonder One engine. And uh, it also works really well with, um, with Good Goblin Housekeeping. I don't know, I couldn't remember the name. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack. Uh, basically, the only factor we have to take into account here is we do not want to attack his monsters when he has a set card in back row and he has a monster with 2,500 or more attack, like this guy. And if, usually if he has an attack position, it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a giveaway. So right now we're not going to be attacking his monster, not even when he switches into defense. Not even, because that is dangerous. We're not running any defense in this deck. So we're running in. We're running in here with like nothing. We we have no way to stop his traps. Uh, we have reached the point where he has set cards, monster with 2,500 or more uh, attack on the field. So we're not going to be attacking him anymore. What we're going to be doing though is using this Wonder One. All right, let's see if I can actually pull off this little cheeky combo that uh, the Gravekeeper works really well with uh, uh, Good Goblin Housekeeping. So let's go ahead and just activate Wonder One and get our draws. And if we do draw another Gravekeeper, we're going to put it back. Alright, we didn't. So that's good. Uh, so we're going to get to search a Gravekeeper. Usually I use it right before we use a Gravekeeper so we can uh, put back what we were going to... Like if we end up drawing a Gravekeeper's Recruiter from the draw phase, I put it back so we can search it. So we end up kind of plussing one because we don't have to put a card back for uh, Housekeeping in that case. Uh, so right now we already have these, these guys again. So next turn we're going to go for another draw. I can already activate this. Might as well. Why not? I'm trying to I'm trying to move the deck along as quick as I can. Uh, so we're putting that one back because it is a last turn card. Uh, we are not going to attack. I was already going to forget. All right, we're not going to attack him. Definitely not. It's not a good idea. And all right, so he's going to start doing that shenanigans. There it goes. And. I guess while this is going, I will go ahead and play the footage of me farming level 30 on the side right now, uh, since I'm probably going to be able to beat him pretty soon. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a fusion. And... Alright, so we got our Master of Bulls. 
and big old koala boy on the field. So we're good now. We kind of want to draw that that field spell that lowers his monster's attacks and stuff. So just so he, I mean, it, it's, it's, he doesn't have solidarity or anything, so we don't really have to fear that. Uh, but we can go ahead and go for our recruiter play. So let's go ahead and do this. And just hopefully, I mean, it doesn't matter, but hopefully I don't draw into my Grape Keepers right now. Because that would be kind of a waste of a search. Uh, we ended up drawing one of them. Right now is when I would have definitely used the the Trap Housekeeping. I keep forgetting the name of that card. Uh, uh, Good Goblin Housekeeping to put this guy back, just so he stays in the deck. And we have nothing that we really need to get rid of. I mean, we could go ahead and attack his uh, monsters that are not 2,500. Or, or higher. We can go ahead and get rid of those. I don't know if I want to attack the other one. Might as well, to be honest. Yeah, because that guy can also get pretty strong, and he does not have solidarity yet, so they're not being boosted. But there is the solidarity. I called it. Uh, so, okay, he's gonna get rid of that one for the other one. That's fine. Uh, the thing is, he's putting him in defense right now. Uh, usually. When there it is, finally. All right, so we got the acidic downpour. That 2600 is now a 2100, so we can attack it, and it just kind of puts a damper on his plays because he wants to get all his monsters above 2500, so he can activate the Jirak impact, blow everything up. Uh, we're trying to avoid that, so we're gonna go ahead and just run that guy over. We don't want him tributing because that can be kind of dangerous. Uh, because he, I mean, now he can't run us over. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep drawing. We got that second acidic downpour. Is this the glossy? Yeah, it is. I always like playing the glossy. So I only have uh, one glossy, one non-glossy. If I had two, it would solve that problem. But uh, so we're good now. We played that glossy. Uh, I could go ahead and attack, but I don't know. That could be a. Nah, he probably doesn't have anything because if he did have the the dangerous card, Jurak Impact, he would have put the monster in attack position. And that, because he wants me to attack into it. So right now we have nothing to fear so far. He did set another one though, so that could be that could be it. And we did draw that wonder one. Uh, right now we are gonna go ahead and use recruiter. I would have liked waiting to have a um, housekeeping just so we could put back this guy so we can get his, his uh, search and plus one. But right now we're just gonna have to do this. Draw two, and that's it. No adding three. Uh, so there's the card I needed. Uh, I think it was the next card. I should have waited a turn. All right. So uh, basically, we would have just had uh, one more card. It, it would have just been uh, we have, we would have had a great keeper vassal for the search. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, actually, I don't think it changes anything. But we do have this little engine right here, which I do run the Goblin Remedy and uh, and the Lithograph. Just so we can get our life points to 100 to, to get like an extra, like huge amount of points at the very end. Uh, so this is usually what guarantees that 9k. Uh, so right now, we're all set. We're just going to end. Because we don't want to hit him. Do not want to hit him. But now that we... Oh look, now it is confirmed. He put him... He put his caboozles in attack position. So that means that... He definitely has Jurak Impact in back row, so we're not going to attack him right now. No matter what, we're not going to attack him. So let's put this back. And I think I think legit like this uh, housekeeping is now useless because we already have all of them in the grave. Yeah. All right. So as you can see, we have two. Yeah, we have two. So this is useless. Now we're just gonna have to try to draw out our deck. So pass turn. So. In, in my previous build, I tried to make it to counter Jurak Impact, but you can counter it by just not attacking his 2500 monsters when he has face downs in, uh, in the back row. So I think that's the best way to counter it, to be honest. So we're just going to keep passing, keep passing. He doesn't use it unless you attack him, so that's the, that's the upside, I guess. So now we have our final end game play, and we're going to go ahead and do this. And this is going to be the same for the other deck as well and if you are running um, piranha engine it would be just summon piranha equip him with a uh, secret pass then uh, the gift of the martyr kill uh, master of oz he becomes 5000 attack directly game so it's pretty much the same to be honest uh, i think the piranha version is probably a little bit easier to pull off just because it's it's a free extra card that you can replace for like a jar of greed or something so it gives you a little bit more draw power but this deck is 
draw power incarnate so I don't think it matters I really don't think it matters I think you're gonna get you're gonna wreck him either way so let's go ahead and enter battle phase he is not gonna use anything we pretty much got him we don't even need a uh, anti-magic arrows or anything just get wrecked yep all right and that is it so we went ahead and took out Rex I guess might as well see if we get any cool rewards. I think I've gotten one Destroyer of Saurus since yesterday. So, I mean, there's that. And I've gotten a lot of the field spells. I think I, I also show it in the in the rewards for the for the, the farming level 30. I managed to get a field as, as well, which I will be playing right now. Oh, look, and I got a SR. Hey, I got another one. Cool. Now I have two Destroyer of Saurus. Uh, so that's decent. I really like the gems, though. I, I am loving these gems. Because you never know, we might be getting a new set eventually, and I, I need to, I need to save up some gems. Uh, I need more gold though. That's what I need. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to show off this upgraded, more like 100% deck that could be used to farm Rex consistently, and it could also be used on level 30 for any any of you guys that are having, uh, I guess, bad luck and just seeing level 30. There you go. You can run this deck and just take them both out. Uh, two birds with one stone. Or two dinos with one stone. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day and see you guys.